Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with an All-Star game that never happened. This is the 1911 All-Star game. Now, if you know your baseball history, you know that the All-Star game didn't start as an official thing until 1933. So there was no... Uh, All-Star game in 1911. So I went through and I put together All-Star teams for the American and National Leagues. And of course, I'm going to have disagreements out there from people of guys that didn't make it and guys that should have made it and guys that should have made it and didn't make it and all that good stuff. Because that happens every year, um, even nowadays. But we will go through... Um, the uh, lineups, and we're going to do both lineups at the same time. I usually wait till the team comes up, but we're going to do the, both lineups and the benches so that everybody knows who I put on each of these teams. So we're going to start out with the, um, the and the home team is going to be the National League, and we're going to be playing in Baker Bowl. I love the Baker Bowl. It's like a reverse Fenway Park if you've ever seen it. It's awesome. But we're playing in Baker Bowl. The National League will be the home team. So let's go over the American League um, bench players first. Um, so the first player that's going to be on the American League bench is Harry Hooper. And he hit 311, as you can see, in 1911 with, a, with 524 at-bats and a 399 on base percentage and four home runs. The next guy, for also from the Boston Red Sox, will be Tris Speaker, and he is going to be uh, the uh, backup center fielder. Of course, when you see who the starting center fielder is, you'll understand why Tris Speaker is uh, a bench player. Uh, but he hit 334 in 1911. Uh, also, uh, so now from St. Louis, you've got Frank Laporte. Frank Laporte will make the team. He is a uh, an infielder. wasn't very good defensively, but he hit 314. From Detroit, you're going to have Wahoo Sam Crawford, the right fielder. Uh, he hit 378. Now I know, I know it's 378, and he's a bench player. But again, you'll see why when you see the starting lineup. Because with some of these guys, they only had one position on their card, so they couldn't play anywhere else. Or at least I didn't feel like I should be playing them somewhere else. Uh, also from Detroit, you got Oscar Stanage, and he will be the catcher. Only hit 264. Um, the American League was kind of thin on catchers, so um, he's the backup catcher. Then you got Jim Delahanty from Detroit. He hit 339. And he is a first baseman and infielder. And you got Jimmy Austin, the third baseman. Now he made the he only hit 261. Uh, but he was a third base one, although E44, but he was a good defensive third baseman. You got Harry Lord from Chicago, and I'm a Chicago White Sox fan, and I didn't start him at third. I was thinking about it, but I didn't. He hit 321. Then you got Matty McIntyre, also from the Chicago White Sox, and he hit 323. And then uh, from Washington, you have Germany Schaefer, and he hit 334 and 440 at bats. Then you've got Clyde Milan, the center fielder um, from Washington, and he hit 315. And then you've got Joe Birmingham from Cleveland, and he is an outfielder. Pretty good outfielder. He hit 304. Then you got Hal Chase from the Yankees or the Highlanders or whatever they were in 1911. Now, Hal Chase made the team. Now, you may know Hal Chase. He's famous for being for betting on baseball and uh, betting on or against his own teams to win or lose. Uh, so he was a guy that I think got banned from baseball. But according to many baseball historians, he is also one of the best, if not the best defensive first baseman in the history of baseball. 
And if we turn over his card, we can see he's a first base 1E30. So I guess 30 errors at first base back in the day when you were just playing with, uh, you know, basically uh, a hand glove is, uh, is pretty good. He hit 315, though. So now we start with the uh, pitchers, and uh, the uh, Washington pitcher Walter Johnson, the big train. Yes, he was 25 and 13 with a 189 earned run average. You will see soon enough why he is not the starter for the American League. Um, and then you've got Russ Ford from the uh, New York team. He was 22 and 11 with a 227. You have Eddie Plank. He was uh, from Philadelphia. He was 23 and 8, looks like, with a 210 earned run average. Then you got Chief Bender, and he was also from Philadelphia, and he was 17 and 5 with a 218 earned run average. And then you got Larry Pape. He was 10 and 8 with a 245. He's from Boston, also from Boston. You got Ray Collins. He was only 11 and 12, but he had a 240 earned run average. Um, then you got uh, Von Gregg uh, from Cleveland, and he was 23 and 7 with a 180 earned run average. You got uh, Barney Pelty from the St. Louis Browns, and he was 7 and 15 with a 283 earned run average. And then we're back to Harry Hooper. So that's the American League bench players and backup pitchers. Now we will go to the National League uh, backup players and uh, and pitchers and everything. And uh, so let's see what we got here. All right. The first guy is Larry McLean from the Cincinnati Reds. He hit. 287 in 328 at bats and uh, he is a catcher now the reason that he's on the team is he had a negative four arm so he was a great defensive catcher I, when I saw that I said this dude needs to make the team Mike Mitchell from Cincinnati he is an outfielder hit 291 then you got Hans Lobert, the third baseman for the Philadelphia Phillies, and he hit 285 with nine home runs. Then you got Sherry McGee, the left fielder. He hit 288, and he is also from the Phillies. Then you got Art Fletcher from the uh, New York Giants, and he hit 319. He is an infielder. Chief Myers is a catcher, and he hit 332, 391 at-bats. And again, you're going to see why he is not the starting catcher. Um, Ed Konechny is a first baseman for the St. Louis um, Cardinals, and he hit 289 and 571 at-bats. For the Chicago Cubs, you got Joe Tinker, good defensive shortstop. Let's see what his air rating is. Air 60. That's crazy. That's crazy bad. Uh, but he was a shortstop one. He gets to everything and he throws it into the stands. So you got Heine Zimmerman from Chicago. Also, he is an infielder. He hit 307. Then you got Bill Sweeney, second baseman from the Boston Braves. He hit 314. Also from the Boston Braves, you got Al Bridwell, a shortstop. And he hit 279. Then you got Doc Miller from the Boston Braves as well. He hit 333. And then you got Chief Wilson finally, the right fielder for Pittsburgh. And now we will go over, I believe, the pitchers. But Chief Wilson hit 300, and he is a uh, right fielder. So you got Three Finger Brown. Mordecai Three Finger Brown for Chicago is on the pitching staff. He was 21 and 11 with a 280 earned run average. Then you got Rube Barquard from the New York Giants. He was 24 and 7 with a 250 earned run average. Then you got Babe Adams and he was 22 and 12 with a 233 earned run average from the Pittsburgh uh, Pirates and also from the Pirates Lefty Lee Field. He was 16 and 16 but he had a 263 earned run average. Then you got Nap Rucker from Brooklyn. 
he was 22 and 18 with a 274 earned run average. And then you got Earl Morrill, Moore uh, from the Philadelphia Phillies. He was 15 and 19 with a 283 earned run average. You also have Pete Alexander. Uh, he had he was 28 and 13 with a 257 earned run average, also from Philadelphia. Fittingly, all these guys from Philadelphia because we are in the Baker Bowl. And then you got Slim Saley from the St. Louis Cardinals. He was 15 and nine with a 276 earned run average. And you have Larry McLean. He is the catcher and. Um, he, uh, from Cincinnati, he is a backup catcher. He hit 287. And then, oh yeah, okay, that's, we're back to the players again. All right, so Slim Saley was the last pitcher. So now we will go over the starting lineups. First, for the American League, you've got Ty Cobb. Tyrus Cobb is going to be playing in center field, the Georgia Peach. And this is why... Um, Tris Speaker is not a starter. And then you got Nap LeJoy, or LeJoie, or however you pronounce his name, and he is going to start at first base for the American League. Then you got Shoeless Joe Jackson, and he's going to bat in the third spot and be the right fielder. And again, that's why Harry Hooper and some of these other guys didn't make the starting lineup. Batting in the fourth spot, you've got the third baseman, Frank Home Run Baker. And then you got Eddie Collins. He'll be batting fifth, and he is the second baseman. Then you got Bertie Cree. Bertie Cree, the uh, left fielder. And he is going to be batting sixth. Then batting seventh, you got Stuffy McGinnis. Stuffy McGinnis will be the shortstop for the American League. And batting eight, you got Ira Thomas, and he will be the catcher today for the American League. You can see he's a catcher, one with a negative four arm, and then you've got the pitcher batting. But who is the pitcher? Well, that's interesting that you might ask that, because the pitcher for the American League is going to be Big Ed Walsh. Now, yeah, I know you're out there saying, whoa, Big Ed Walsh should not be the starting pitcher over the big train, but... I am a White Sox fan, so I am starting Ed Walsh. But it's not like he doesn't belong. I mean, he is—he was 27 and 18 with a 2.22 earned run average. So Big Ed Walsh is going to be the starting pitcher for the American League. With that, we will go over the National League starting lineup. And their first batter is going to be Larry Doyle, and he is the second baseman for the National League. And then from Pittsburgh, we got Fred Clark. Fred Clark will be the second batter. He is the left fielder and batting second for the National League. And then you got Honus Wagner. Honus Wagner will bat third and be the shortstop for the National League. And he also is a shortstop one E60. Not very good defensively. Then you got Wildfire Schulte. Wildfire Schulte will bat in the cleanup spot and be the right fielder. And I believe he is from the Cubs. Then you got Fred Luteris. And Luteris will be the first baseman for the National League. He, um, let's see, what did he do? He is from the, he is from the Phillies. So it's, again, apropos that he's starting. And he hit 301 with 16 home runs. Then you got Mike Donlin. Mike Donlin is going to be the center fielder and batting sixth for the National League. Batting seventh, you got Roger Bresnahan, the catcher. And this is why that other catcher is not starting, because this is Roger Bresnahan. <laughs> he is a catcher one with a negative two arm and batting in the seventh spot for the NL. Batting in the eighth spot for the NL will be Buck Herzog. And Buck Herzog is going to be the third baseman. He is a third base two E35. Of course, back then, you know, a lot of guys had a big error rating. And then the pitcher will be... The uh, ninth batter, 
for the National League, and that is going to be the one and only Christy Mathewson. He will be the starting pitcher for the National League going up against Big Ed Walsh. And in uh, 1911, he was 26 and 13 with a 199 earned run average in 307 innings pitched. So Christy Mathewson. So there you go. There's your starting pitchers, your starting lineups, and your bench. I expect comments in the uh, in the comments section saying, "Why didn't this guy make it? Why didn't that guy make it? Why did this guy make it?" I totally expect all of that to happen. But those are the starters, the pitchers, and the bench. And so with that, we can get on with the game. So now let's <clears throat> get in with the game here. And we've got Ty Cobb leading off for the American League, batting against Christy Mathewson. And he gets a 6-5. And uh, that is going to be a fly ball to left. So Ty Cobb flies out. F7 for him. Nap LaJoy gets a 1-9. Christy Mathewson is a righty. And that's going to be a walk. So Nap LaJoy takes the walk. Mathewson issues the walk. And that brings up Shoeless Joe. Shoeless Joe Jackson. And he gets a 5-8. And that will be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 2-E-11. That is a 15, so we'll check it on the chart. And uh, that's going to be a double play, ground ball double play. Joe Jackson into a 4-6-3 double play. And the American League gets no runs, and we go to the bottom of the first. And that brings up Larry Boyle for the National League, batting against Big Ed Walsh. And he gets a 5-8, and that's going to be a ground ball to second base as well. And the second baseman for them is a 2-E-31. That is an 8. Let me check it on the chart. <clears throat> and that's going to be on his... E rating, which is 31, which is not good. That's a three. And that is going to be a an E1. So Larry Doyle leads off and he gets on by an E4, the second baseman, who is Eddie Collins, making the air. And that brings up Fred Clark with a man aboard and no outs. And he gets a 1-8, and he is uh, against a righty, and that is going to be a line out to second. There's one away. So that time the, the second baseman makes the play. There's one down, and Honus Wagner is the batter, the shortstop for the National League today, and he gets a 5-7, and that's going to be a strikeout, two away. And that's the first strikeout that we have in the game by either pitcher, and it's Ed Walsh getting it, and Wildfire Schulte gets a 2-9, and uh, he is going to get a strikeout. So there's a second strikeout in a row. Walsh puts them both down. No runs come in. We go to the top of the second with the American League. Uh, leading off with Frank Home Run Baker. And he gets a 2-6. And that's going to be a single. So Baker leads off. He gets a leadoff single. That is the first hit allowed in the game. And Eddie Collins is up. Eddie Collins gets a 5-6. And that's going to be a strikeout. One away, and that's Mathewson's first K of the game. And uh, that 
brings to the plate Bertie McCree, and he gets a 6-5, and 6-5 is going to be a ground ball third base B, so now McCree is on first base, and there's two down, and Stuffy McGinnis is up, and he gets the 3-8, and the 3-8 is going to be a single double asterisk and move runners to the corners. Second hit allowed by Matthewson. And Ira Thomas is up. Ira Thomas gets a 2-6. And that is going to be a triple. A two-run triple. <clears throat> and that scores two runs for the American League. And there's a man 90 feet away. With the pitcher up, but Walsh hasn't even, he's only pitched one inning. So they're going to let Walsh hit. And he gets a 4-11. 4-11. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop B. So he gets uh, 6 to, he goes out 6-3, to three, but the American League Strikes first for two runs, and we go to the bottom of the second. Fred Luteris is up. He gets a 5-10, Fred Luteris of the Phillies. Um, and he gets a strikeout. Not, not only that, but really, Ed Walsh is, like, dominant here. That makes brings Mike Donlin up. 110, and he gets a single. So Mike Donlin is aboard with a hit. And I think that's the first hit allowed by Walsh. It is one man on, one man out. Roger Bresnahan gets a 5-8. Five 5-8 eight. Five eight is going to be, that's a ground ball second base again, and he's a 2-E-30. What is he? A 2E31. That's a 5. Now that should be an out on his card. And it is. It's a, and it's a double play. So that's the end of the inning. Bresnahan hits into a double play that ends the inning. And Ty Cobb is the batter. We go to the top of the third with the American League leading 2 nothing. Ty Cobb gets a 4-8, and uh, that is going to be a single. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, nope, it's a strikeout. So, Matthewson strikes out another guy. There's one down. Napla Joy. Napla Joy with the 3-5, and that's going to be a ground ball. Um, ground ball to third base. So he's out five to three. There's two down. And Shoeless Joe gets a 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight is going to be a line out to first base. So the American League goes down quickly there. We go to the bottom of the third. <clears throat> and um, Buck Herzog is the batter for uh, the National League. The third, he's the third baseman. He gets a four five. And that is going to be a fly ball to right. One away. Yep. F9, there's one down. With Matthewson up, they will pinch hit for Matthewson. The uh, National League will. So they're going to... Let's see. Who are they going to pinch hit? They're going to pinch hit Art Fletcher of the New York Giants. He 
batted 319 in 1911. And he will be the pinch hitter. And we will write him in. And he gets a 4-3. And that's going to be... Uh, that is a ballpark single. And ballpark single for a righty is going to get him barely a single. So he does get a hit. That's a second hit allowed by Walsh. Brings up Larry Doyle. And he gets a 5-9. And that's going to be a fly ball left field. So there's one away. Fred Clark is up. Fred Clark gets a 1-9. That is going to be a walk. <clears throat> So there are two runners on now, Walsh walking the first batter that he's walked in the game. Honus Wagner is the batter, 6-7, and that's going to be a ground ball second base double play. So 4-6-3, double play, National League comes away with no runs there, and we're going to the top of the fourth, and... Art Fletcher is now out of the game, and so is Christy Mathewson. And we need a replacement pitcher for Christy Mathewson, and that's going to be Three Finger Brown. So Three Finger Brown coming in. Uh, Mathewson goes three complete. He allowed three hits and two earned runs. And on comes Brown. And Frank Baker is going to be the batter here in the fourth. They're going to keep him in. He gets a 2-4. Three Finger Brown is a righty, and that's going to be a fly ball to left. One down. Eddie Collins. Eddie Collins, the second baseman, 6'8". And uh, that's going to be a single. So Eddie Collins gets a hit, and here we're in the top of the four. <clears throat> That's the first hit allowed by Three Finger Brown. Mordecai, Three Finger Brown. Bertie McCree comes up, gets a 4-5, and that's going to be a ground ball first base B, so there's two out. And he is at first. And Stuffy McGinnis is up. Stuffy McGinnis gets a 1-6, and that is going to be a ground ball to third. So he goes out five to three. And no runs come in for the American League in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the American League leading two nothing. And Wildfire Schulte will not be batting against Ed Walsh. They will take Ed Walsh out. He goes three complete. And uh, I don't think we need to. Um, I don't think we need to uh, <clears throat> disguise who it is. It's going to be coming in. It's going to be Walter the Big Train Johnson. So Walter Johnson will come in to pitch for um, Big Ed Walsh. The book on Walsh was three innings. Two hits allowed, one walk, no runs, and he struck out three. And Wildfire Schulte is the batter. Um, here in the 
so I've got the bottom of the fourth. It should be the bottom of the fourth. All right, so Wildfire Schulte here in the bottom of the fourth. Yeah. He gets a 4-4, four, four, and that's going to be a catcher card X. Now, the catcher for the American League is a 1-E-5, and that's a 7, so we'll check that. And that's going to be a pop-out. So, Schulte pops out. Fred Luteris is, is the batter. <clears throat> he is the first baseman. And he gets a 5-5. Five, five, and that's going to be a walk. No, that's the wrong color. There we go. Luteris takes a walk and... Uh, that's the first base runner issued by the big train. Brings in Mike Donlin. He gets a 6-9. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the American League is a 3-E-88. And that's a 5. That might be an out. Five and three, it is a ground ball C. Moves the runner to second, and there's two down. So, that brings up Roger Bresnahan, the catcher. And he gets a 6-6 six, six, righty, and that's going to be a ground ball first base. Or wait a minute. Nope, it's a strikeout, actually. So Johnson with his first strikeout. No runs come in. We go to the top of the fifth. Top of the fifth inning. American League ahead 2-0. And this is going to be Ira Thomas. And let's see. What is Ira Thomas? He is the catcher. Uh, they'll, they'll let him. They'll let him bet. 4-4. And he is going to get a fly ball to center field. Or wait a minute. Yeah, fly ball center field. The center fielder for the National League is a 4E25. And that's a 5. 5 and 4. And that's going to be a single. Ira Thomas is aboard with a single. Here in the 5th. <laughs> And that brings up Walter Johnson. And they will pinch hit for Walter Johnson right here. And they're going to pinch hit with Harry Hooper. Harry Hooper with a man aboard and no outs. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six, and that's going to be a strikeout. One away. Hooper with the K. And uh, three-finger Brown gets the strikeout as the pitcher. Ty Cobb is up. With one down and... And a man aboard. And that's a 112, which is a ground ball to the shortstop double play. So that's a 6 4 3 double play. And no runs come in in the fifth. And we go to the bottom of the fifth, and there's going to be a new pitcher for the American League. Uh, the book on Walter Johnson was one inning pitched. 
um, and a strikeout and a walk, and that's it. So, we need a replacement, obviously, to pitch for the American League. And the replacement is going to be Eddie Plank of the Philadelphia A's. Eddie Plank coming in. And uh, Buck Herzog is due to be the batter here, I believe. Yes, the third baseman. They're going to see if they can pinch hit for him. and get a new third baseman into the game. They will. They're going to pinch hit Hans Lobert. So we will put in Hans Lobert. And unfortunately, Herzog only had one at bat, and he flew out. And Lobert will be the first batter of the inning here in the bottom of the fifth. And he gets a 5-7. And that's going to be a strikeout. And Eddie Plank strikes out the first guy he faces. Not bad for him against this great National League lineup. And that brings up the pitcher, and they will pinch hit for him. That's Three Finger Brown. They're going to pinch hit for Three Finger Brown. And the pinch hitter is going to be Ed Konechny. In 1911, Konechny hit 289 with six home runs. Um, so let's go. One down, nobody on. He gets a 510. He is a righty. And that's going to be a, and that's going to be an out, I believe. Yes, it will be. He's out. That was a ballpark single, but he didn't get it. So, uh, connect, so connect me actually strikes out. And uh, let's see here. And that brings to the plate Larry Doyle, their leadoff batter. With, I believe, two down, yeah. And that's a 1-9 against a lefty, and that's going to be a foul out to first base. And also, Plank struck out the second guy. So, no runs come in from the National League. It's still a 2-0 lead here. For the American League, and they've got Matt LaJoy up. He is the first baseman. They will let him hit. They're going to keep him in the game, at least for the moment. And he gets a 1 7, and it's going to be against somebody different, not Three Finger Brown. They're going to bring in Rube Marquardt. So Rube Marquardt is coming in for the National League. And uh, Brown goes two innings. He goes two innings. He allows one hit, a strikeout, and no runs. And we roll a 1-7 with Nap LaJoy against a lefty, and that's going to be a single. And we're in the top of the sixth. And in case you were wondering, even if it had, well, no, if it had been a righty, it would have been an out. But anyway, I didn't check it, so 
doesn't really matter. But anyway, Nat Joy gets a single. That is a hit against Marquard. Joe Jackson's up. He gets a 3-5. And that's going to be a single double asterisk and move runners to the corners. Marquard giving up his second hit to the second batter he faces. Frank Baker, they will pinch hit for Frank Baker. And I know just the guy because I am a White Sox fan and I want my man, Harry Lord, to get in the game. So he will pinch hit. Uh, Harry Lord. Harry Lord for the White Sox in 1911. Batted 321 with three home runs and 18 doubles and 18 triples. So we'll see what happens here. He gets a 3-6 against a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball double play to first base. So two out, but a run does score. And uh, Marquard gives up the run. And Eddie Collins is up with two down and nobody on. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. And that is going to be a single. So Eddie Collins with a hit, two out hit. Marquardt gives up a third hit. He hasn't pitched very well, to say the least. Bertie McCree comes on. He gets 311. And 311 is going to be a walk. Now there's two on with two out, and Stuffy McGinnis is up, and he gets a 2-4. And a 2-4 is going to be a fly ball B to right field, right field, yep. But the American League gets another run, and they go ahead 3-1. We're going to the bottom of the sixth. And Fred Clark is the batter that's due up. He is a left fielder. I guess they will. No, they're going to let him hit. They're going to let him stay in and hit. 4-3. And uh, that is going to be a single. So Fred Clark gets a hit. Fred Clark has gotten a hit and walked today. Eddie Plank, that's the first hit he's allowed. Honus Wagner is up. He is definitely staying in the game. And uh, he gets a strikeout, one away. Plank with the K, that's his third strikeout already. Wildfire Schulte gets a 3-9. And 3-9 is going to be a ground ball B. So now he's at first base, there's a fielder's choice. And that brings up... Fred Luteris. And Luteris, he gets a 611. 611 is going to be a fly ball to the right fielder. The right fielder for the American League is a 1E13. And that's a 1, probably going to be an out. And it is a fly ball B. No runs come in for the National League, and we go to the top of the seventh. And in the top of the seventh, Ira Thomas is due up for the American League. He is the catcher, so they will they will pinch hit for him. And that's going to be Oscar Stange, or Stan Stanage. Oscar, Oscar Stanage will be the pinch hitter. And he 
gets a 1-5 against Marquardt, who's a lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So Standage is out. He's out six to three, and the pitcher will be up. And they will pinch hit for the pitcher. And the pinch hitter will be Jim Delahanty. And he gets three six against the lefty, and that's going to be a single. So that's a man on with one out. And Ty Cobb, we're back to the start of the lineup. And he gets a three three, and he is struck out. Marquard with the K, and Napa Joy is up, and he gets a 4-9, and 4-9 is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop, the shortstop for the National League, he is a 2-E-11, oh, wait a minute, no, that's not right, he's a 1-E-60, and that is a 17. That might be an out if they're lucky. And it is. It's a ground ball double play. Or not really because there was already two outs. So LaJoy goes out 6-3. to three. No runs come in for the National League. We go to the bottom of the 7th. And um, the pitcher for the American League will not be Eddie Plank anymore because he was pinch hit for. So the pitcher is going to be Chief Bender. Chief Bender of the Philadelphia A's will come on. Um, Plank went um, two. He went two innings. He allowed a hit and struck out three. And now the uh, batter for the National League is going to be uh, Mike Donlin. And he gets a 6-11. He is a lefty. And that's going to be a ground ball second base, one away. Roger Bresnahan. Gets a 310. And against the lefty, that's going to be a single. Or no, he's a righty. It's, he's still going to get on base. It's with a walk, though. So, Bres National League. So, Bresnahan gets a walk. Bender walks him. That's the first man allowed on by Bender. Hans Lobert comes up. He gets a 5-6. And that's going to be a fly ball to center, one away, or two away. And that brings up the batter. Marquard is the batter, so they will pinch hit for him.
And the pinch hitter is going to be Buck Herzog. Wait a minute, did he start? He didn't start, did he? No, he did. Yes, he did. So the pinch hitter is going to be... Uh, hmm. Heine Zimmerman. Heine Zimmerman of the Chicago Cubs will pinch hit. And he gets a 2-8. And Bender is a righty. And that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he's out 1-3. to three. And no runs come in for the National League right there. And we're going to the top of the eighth, I believe. Yes, we are. And Marquard is not the National League pitcher anymore. So they are going to bring in Babe Adams. So Babe Adams will come on and pitch for the National League. He was with the Pirates. And Marquard goes, let's see, five. He goes two. And he allows three hits and a run. With the American League leading, as we said, three nothing. And Nat LaJoy is up. He's the first baseman. Let's see if we can pinch hit for him, because now it's getting late. They've got a three run lead. Probably you gotta guess we have another first baseman here. Um, we already pinch hit Delahanty, so we can't use him. Germany Schaefer. So Germany Schaefer will come in and pinch hit and play first base for Napla Joy. And he gets a 112 against Babe Adams, who is a righty. And that's going to be a ground ball third base. Oh, wait a minute. That should have been, nope, that should have been Joe Jackson. And that is a 112. That's going to be a ground ball to second base for Joe Jackson. Um, but at least you know who the first base, uh, the new first baseman will be because he still will be. So he goes out, ground out three. One out. Harry Lord is up. First at bat for Harry Lord. He gets a, uh, no, second at bat. Six, four. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. The center fielder is a 4E25. And that's a 15. Let's see what that is. 15 and 4. That's going to be a single. So Harry Lord getting a hit. Babe Adams gives up his first hit. And Eddie Collins is up. He gets a 5-3. That's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. He is a... Um, he's a 4-E-4. And that's a 5. So, uh, 5 or E-4. And a three. And that's going to be an E1. So the pitcher makes an error. Eddie Collins is on by an error. So there's two runners on with only one out. And Bertie McCree comes up. He gets a 1-6. That is going to be against a righty. That's going to be a double and knock in one run.
Stuffy McGinnis comes up. He gets 210, and it's not going to get any better for them. It's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in two runs. And Oscar Stanage is the batter. He gets a 4-4. And that's going to be a catcher card X. The catcher is a 1-E-5. And we will um, what is that? A 2? Two? 2. That's a pop-out plus or a uh, pass ball plus a pop out so he goes to second on the pass ball and that was Stanage and that brings up the pitcher and the pitcher is Chief Bender and they will pinch hit for Chief Bender with Clyde Milan Clyde Milan of Washington is going to pinch hit. And that is a 411. And that's going to be a fly ball to left, and he's out. So, uh, so actually, three runs come in right there. So it is uh, six nothing going to the bottom of the eight. The American League is leading here. And they will take out Chief Bender. And Bender went, let's see, three, five, six. He went two. No, he went one. He went one and he walked a guy. And that'll bring it, that's going to bring in Russ Ford. Russ Ford of the Yankees or of the American, the uh, New York American League team, whether it was the Highlanders, whoever it was. Russ Ford is coming in. And uh, Larry Doyle, their leadoff hitter and center fielder, is due up. Let's see if they're going to pinch hit for him. He is, uh, what is he? The second, he's the second baseman. They will, they'll bring in Bill Sweeney. So Bill Sweeney of the Boston Braves will come in. He'll pinch hit for Doyle and play second base. And he gets a 2-9, which uh, against Ford is a righty. That's going to be a single. So Ford gets a base hit. Or Sweeney. Sweeney gets a base hit off of Ford. which brings up Fred Clark. And they, they've really burned through the bench, so they'll let him hit. He gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball shortstop B, so that's fielder's choice. And Wagner is up. Honus Wagner. And he gets a 2-8, and that's going to be a ground ball third base double play. 5-4-3 double play. No runs come in for... The National League, we go to the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth, and with, um, and they have to make a pitching change, I believe. No, they don't. They didn't pinch it for Babe Adams. So they will keep Babe Adams out there, but the American League will send a pinch hitter up for Cobb. 
I'm sure Cobb in real life would not like that. But we do need to get Tris Speaker into the game. So Tris Speaker will pinch hit here in the ninth. And he gets 1-7, which is going to be a fly ball center. Germany Schaefer is up. He gets a 5-4. Five, 5-4 four. Five, four is going to be a... Um, Third base X, third baseman is a 2E35, that's a 4, we're going to say he's out, 5 to 3, and uh, that brings Joe Jackson, Shoeless Joe Jackson is up, and he gets a 4-4, four, four. and that's going to be a catcher card X, the catcher is a 1E5, that's a 3, that's an out. He goes out one to three, no runs for the American League in the ninth, and we're going to the bottom of the ninth. And Wildfire Schulte is up against Russ Ford, who is still out there. And he gets a 2-8, which is going to be a walk. So Schulte works a walk here in the ninth. Fred Luteris comes up and he gets a 1 9, which is going to be a fly ball to right. One away. They're down by six, so I don't know. I don't see it happening. Mike Donlin is up. He gets a 5 10. 5 10 is going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. Their third baseman is a 2 E31. That's a 1. That might be a hit. Nope. Um, wait a minute. What is that? I rolled a one, and he is... The third baseman is a two. That's a single. Yeah, that's a single. Donlin with a base hit. Is that two guys on? Yeah, it is. So there's two guys on with only one out. And Bresnahan is the batter. He gets a 4-4. Four, four. And um, that's going to be a, let's see, that's going to be an out, I believe. Yes. So that is, let's see, 4-4. Four, four. That is going to be a fly ball to center, to away. And that brings it all up to Hans Lobert. And Hans Lobert is going to get a single double asterisk and score a run for the National League, and that's their first run. And with the pitcher up, the National League is going to go get a pinch hitter. I mean, they still need five more runs, but they're going to pinch hit Doc Miller. Doc Miller in 1911 for the Boston Braves, hit 333. And he gets a 1-8. And um, that's going to be a ground ball double play, if it wasn't, but it didn't need to be. And it's an out. The National League did get a run, but they did lose the game 6-1. to one. And the winning pitcher is... Big Ed Walsh, and the losing pitcher is Christy Mathewson. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing out.